It has been a full year since I last took the high banker out and today we have it in a special location, Nugget Gully. This is nugget or nothing territory. So today is the first time ever that we're going to be able to move a lot of dirt and with a little bit of luck we'll pick up some big pieces of gold or nothing at all. Four years ago we found over five grams of gold on this corner and it just kept going down. We were never able to return or finish it. But today... Today we've got a special helper. This is Gobble Guts' dad, Hungry Guts. Hungry Guts is running Miner's Moss and Expanded Mesh and a spray bar setup that desperately needs some attention and future work. And when I say this is nugget or nothing territory, I mean it. We're likely to get maybe 20 pieces of flower gold today, but hopefully a couple of chunkers. And that's what you're after because those chunkers up here can be exceptionally big. So, uh, it's nugget or nothing territory and there's no indicator mineral, so no iron, no black sand. Uh, that means usually doing test pans is completely pointless, but we have here a sticky clay layer, so I'm interested in seeing what's in it. I am willing to bet there will be nothing to show in this test pan, but that's just the way it goes up here. And I was correct, absolutely, absolutely nothing, not even a speck of black sand. And that is completely normal up here, that's why we're moving so much dirt, because we're just hoping for one or two pieces that make the whole day. And I think I'm on the bottom. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I'm on the bottom. So we're gonna wait for the water to clear. And in the meanwhile, we're gonna look in the sluice and get really disappointed when we see no gold. I can't see nothing. Ah, oh, it'd be nice if it was just like a big chunk sitting there, but nope. That is a deep hole. That is a really deep hole. And I don't think I've quite hit bedrock yet. And it's killing me. I don't know how much gold I've got. And I've got another project I wanna do with the high bank while I'm up here. So I think we're going to clean the mat. So if there's a lot of gold in this clean up, I'll keep going here. But otherwise, we're going to move on to a bench deposit, which shows promise. I can't see any nuggets and it's killing me. Man, I hope there's something in there. <laughs> Come on, no fingernails. Yes. Just spied one tasty little piece sitting on the bottom of the sluice. Excellent. So there is gold in here. As a 
is sous chef, it's all about the, the jiggle. This is just what was on the sleeve, not in that. So we should see a little bit of gold, but hopefully not heaps, because this was just sitting on the bare metal on the base of the sluice. Yeah, there we go, a couple pieces. So we've definitely got gold. Now we've got to do the mats, because that's where the real gold's going to be. This has actually got a little bit of weight to it, which is surprising, because, you know, there's no black sand or anything around here. Hopefully all that weight's gold. Unlikely, unlikely. So I've spent a couple of hours digging that hole out and it was pretty hard work, so it'd be nice to get something. Come on, anything? Anything? Ooh, there we go. Coarse, some coarse bits, but not heaps. Actually, there's a considerable amount of flower gold in that. I'm, I'm pretty surprised by that result. So that, that wasn't what I was hoping for. I was hoping for a lot more chunks. Perhaps, perhaps we got all the chunks last time we're here. I don't know, it doesn't matter. We're moving on to the next thing, which is I want to take this high banker and move it up onto the hillside here because our loaming test has indicated that gold is shedding off or out of these banks. And if we can run like half a cubic meter, we can actually find out if there's gold in that soil. A hypothetical alluvial deposit. Our loaning indicated that there is gold on this hill. We don't know if it's coming from an old riverbed or if it's coming from a reef. And this is how we're going to find out A, if there's enough gold in the ground to warrant searching for it, and B, what kind of gold, if any, is in the ground. That was a 70 shovel run, so we're going to find out how much gold we did or did not get. It doesn't really matter, this is just proving the ground. If we get gold, we know that we can keep exploring because we've just run a decent bulk size sample. And if we don't get any gold, we know that we can change spots along this edge and well, try again. We have got a rounded river rock, so that's definitely a positive. Longest screws in the world. Victory. Uh, I don't see no gold this time, but you know, never know. This is the top mat and the top section of Miner's Moss, so this is where 95% of our gold should be. Oh my word, hey, we actually pulled out some, we pulled out some pieces. Now that is an interesting result. That's a all right bit, and we've got at least two other good specs and about a dozen pieces of micro. So with this result, 100% confirmed, that hill is definitely shedding gold. 
Now we can systematically work out which layer it's in, so if there's layers of river gravel or if it's in the clay or if there's bedrock, and then we can concentrate on working those areas and probably get a pretty decent result. I'm expecting the main mat to maybe have a little bit of flower gold, but nothing significant. Yeah, just as expected. We've got maybe a dozen pieces of very small fine flower gold up here, and that's it. Right, so that was an interesting day. It's nice to run bulk samples up here. I'm surprised at the amount of flower gold we pulled out of the creek, and I'm really happy that we pulled gold out of this hillside. We've got a lot of adventures to do up here. This is all the gold we found up in Nugget Gully high banking next to a Clash Guitars pick for a little bit of scale. And whilst we didn't pull out heaps of gold, you can see what I was talking about, that the gold up there is quite coarse. Right before we weigh up this gold, please check out the description below where you're going to find a bunch of links to my merch shop where you can pick up a sweet Vogus prospecting hat, hoodie, or t-shirt, as well as links to my other social media accounts. Right, Fern? On with the gold weigh-in. Looking at the gold in the piece of paper, I reckon we're going to get close to a gram, maybe a 0.8. Well, my guesstimations were very off, 0 0.479. At the time of recording, that is worth $37.78 Australian. Thank you so much for watching. Please give your dog a big scratch behind the ears for me. Peace, and I'm out.